Now let's see if we can find the formula for area of a parallelogram. So we've got these two parallelograms that are equivalent. All right. So let's take a look and see if we can find the base. Here's our base of our parallelogram. And here's our height right there. Now in order to uh, be able to calculate more effectively, we're going to turn this parallelogram into a rectangle. Now we know area of a rectangle is base times height. So we just need to express that in terms of the parallelogram. So this area is going to equal the base of this is the same as the base of the parallelogram, so we can just leave that the same. And the height of this rectangle is the same as the height of the parallelogram, so we can leave that the same. So if we're going to find the area of a parallelogram, we multiply its base times its height. Maybe you'd like to go try this on some other parallelograms.